Um, basically, what I love most is that I get to showcase podiatry um, and all the things that podiatrists are able to do. Um, I think a lot of people were maybe confused or <laughs> maybe just didn't know that this profession existed and all the things that we are capable of doing. So I think that's my favorite part about being on the show is just that I can represent the field of podiatry in the best possible way and to let you know the community know that we're there's millions of us <laughs> out here ready and willing to help and deal with all your foot pathologies. Um, you know, I really wanted to have a profession in medicine, period, because I love helping people. Um, I just happen to have um, really good skills with my hands, so I definitely wanted to be in that surgical realm. And I was always an athlete, so I wanted to do more sports medicine and kind of see people from the beginning of their illnesses all the way towards the end, because I myself have had issues with injuries. Um, so that's kind of what in invited me to the field of podiatry. It's a medical specialty where you're using your hands, you're using your brain, and you're able to relate to patients on a daily basis. So that's what drew me to the field of podiatry and I couldn't have been more happy in my career choice. Well, I'm pretty transparent on my Instagram page at dr.ebony, um, but maybe some of you don't know, but I am a huge, huge Broadway buff. Like I have probably seen every play on Broadway, I will search and I will pay all my money, just take my money for Broadway tickets. Um, so I, I absolutely love all musical theater. I'm in love with outdoor jazz concerts and all types of music. I'm a very eclectic soul. Um, so music is like my number one love, really. And uh, maybe you guys didn't know about that. Uh, I used to sing. Uh, that's something that I now do only in the privacy of my home, in the shower. Uh, <laughs> but it is something that I absolutely love doing. Uh, my dad and I sing sometimes all the time. Um, but yeah, that's an exciting fact about me that keeps me, keeps me going, keeps me alive. The answer is yes, 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 there are huge cases coming up. Um, I think there were huge cases last time too. Um, but I think they were more so um, relatable to most people. Um, a lot of times last year we had like long toes, big toes, bunions, hammer toes. Those kinds of conditions are um, pretty normal kind of cases that we see. Um, this this time around, <laughs> we're dealing with some some very interesting cases, like very rare congenital foot deformities. Um, pretty bad accidents that have happened, um, un unfortunate conditions that are um, chronic that we're dealing with. So um, it is gonna be shocking and appalling this time around, a lot less uh, relatable to the mass of the population, but it is uh, something that the population can relate to because it is um, a someone's journey, it's someone's story, it's someone's life. And so I'm excited to um, be a part of that journey. Basically, I love not ever being bored at my job. There's literally never a day where I'm like, oh, that was a boring day, you know? Like every day has something new and exciting and I learn a lot on my job. Whether it's, you know, personal or professional, I learn every day. So that's the biggest uh, part of my job that I absolutely love. Um, and I would say my favorite part of my job is just being a part of someone else's journey and making them more uh, happy, just able to, you know, do their whole life a lot better without pain. I think that makes me um, very happy and satisfied that I can have learned a skill that is beneficial to other people. So that's the best thing about my job. I just want to make sure everyone has a great, happy new year in 2021. I know we've been through a lot together, so we're going to keep on keeping on. <laughs> and let's just all have a great, happy, positive outlook on life and just be happy and be well, everyone, and stay safe.